Hey y'all. So one of the things that immediately drew me to Saint was how easy it looks to highlight and contour. Okay. I saw people doing it. It looked really easy, easier than anything else that I had tried to achieve the same type of look. And also that everything could be inside one um, compact was really um, exciting to think about as like a busy mom um, and having stuff everywhere. If you really like makeup, then you know what I'm talking about with all the tubes and bottles and compacts and all the things that you can acquire to have everything in one was probably one of the most appealing parts about it. But the ease of highlighting and contour that came along with this palette was what drew me to it um, and how flawless it looked on people's skin. So I wanted to just go back to just talking about contour. Um, a lot of times people will say, I just can't get mine to look like yours. I promise you can. Practice makes perfect. I promise you can. Um, my makeup is definitely not always perfect either. Like, I don't want to come across sound like I know it all because I definitely don't. I learn something new all the time. But I wanted to take it back to contour because I think that that's the biggest difference when I look at other people's makeup that are trying to um, to do the highlighting contour. I think that's where things kind of go awry. And it's super, super simple, but it is a practice type of thing. Practice and the right products are what are going to be the game changers when it comes to contour. So I have this color in my palette right here. This is cedar. I feel like this color works for most everyone. I think most everyone can kind of make this color work. And the detail brush. If you do not have this brush yet, first of all, I'm going to suggest that you get it because it's good for so many things. But for the sake of trying out to trying out this contour process, I want you to get a brush that is similar in shape with, um, I would say, medium density when it comes to bristles. But I think this shape is important. And I think this makes things a lot easier. So, what we're going to do is we are going to dip into this contour. Just kind of tap, 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 tap. We're not going to swipe. We're not picking up tons of product. Don't ever do too much product. Always start off with less than what you think you need and then build it up to where you want to be. Um, and also look at yourself in different lighting. Look at yourself in natural light, which is what I'm in right now. And that's where you get like the best looking makeup, natural light. Those fluorescent lights in the bathroom, yeah, we got to have them, whatever. But that's not where it looks the best. Natural light is where it looks the best. Um, so always take your phone, go to find some windows or your back door and snap a picture like this where you're just a little bit back from a window to look at your makeup in a different light. And I promise it looks better. That was a whole side spiel that I did not plan on. I didn't plan on going down that road. But anyway, so we are going to dip into our contour here. Okay. Flat side of the brush dipped in. You're going to find your cheekbone, all right? So here's the bottom of my cheekbone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on top of that. I'm going to go on top of where the very bottom of my cheekbone is. If you want to kind of press up into that cheekbone, you can. But what you're going to do here is you are just going to kind of stipple this color. I'm going to grab a little bit more. But you want to start at the back, okay? You're starting at the back towards your hair. And you're going to just kind of build it up, right? So we don't need to bring it way down here and curve around this cheekbone. I mean, if you need to kind of slightly curve here, you can. Do not go any further than the outer corner of your eye. You can always use your brush for a guide. That right there is where I need to stop, right? So again, start at the back. You're just going to kind of stipple. You can press up if you want into that cheekbone. And you're just kind of building your contour there. Already, look at how it changes my face shape. Do you see how it looks a little bit thinner over here than it does on this side? That's all because of contour. Contour is an amazing thing to have to um, shape shift, as you will, um, to shape shift and kind of change everything, make everything look a little bit thinner and a little bit more lifted. I feel like the difference between this side of my face and this side of my face is already drastic, and that was the tiniest bit of product. So, I just want you to do that again on the other side. Anything you do to one side, do it to the other side of your face. Keep that symmetry going. But again, you're just going to tap, tap, tap into that contour. You're going to find that cheekbone. And you are going to start from the back 
stipple in that, okay? I normally do contour first. That's personal preference if you'd rather start with like a brightening highlight or your main highlight. But I typically do contour first to kind of frame my face. With Saint Makeup, you don't need to layer products. Um, so you can do this first and this will provide coverage. Also, with doing your contour, I want you to blend it up slightly here. Okay, and down here, I really don't want you to blend down. We're trying to keep this definition here, but I just want you to go in and tap out the edge there. Okay, so that's contour for here. We're going to contour forehead. I'll come back. I'll come back. We're going to have everything done. Okay, okay, that is contour all over. So I've done down here and pulled it down. I did up here on my forehead and blend it up. And then I also sculpted out my nose a little bit and I'll fill that in with a lighter shade. So that's contour. I just wanted to kind of revisit that because just these few little lines on your face can make a big difference in how your makeup looks as at the end. Does that make sense? It's gonna give you the definition. If you're struggling with that though, you let me know. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. You just gotta tell me. I'm always here, okay? So, there's contour. See you next time.